Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Cole, and today we will be demonstrating the Cuffman procedure. An adaptation of the next generation Cuffman procedure includes the utilization of the fiber stitch RC implant. This is an all suture device that comes in either a straight or a reverse curve. It has a 12 millimeter depth stop and a 1.5 millimeter tip. This is a right shoulder. We're viewing from posteriorly. We have already established our lateral portal. The position of the lateral portal is slightly inferior, allowing introduction of the graft on the graft spreader, as well as placement of repair sutures. We will establish a portal percutaneously, just dorsal to the passport cannula. Acknowledging the position of the joint helps us understand when we place the fiber stitch RC sutures, we'd like to be within the muscle and avoiding any contact with intraarticular structures, which would generally live in the mid zone between the lateral edge of the repair and medially along the muscular edge. In this instance, a 25 by 30 millimeter, one millimeter thick Arthroflex patch is placed onto the graft spreader. It will be introduced through the 10 millimeter passport cannula. The graft spreader is opened and the graft is situated over the top of the rotator cuff, positioned somewhat medially so that the medial edge of the graft is situated on top of the muscle. The 1.5 millimeter tip is introduced adjacent to the holding suture where the graft is attached to the graft spreader. A forward directed force with slight pronation and supination helps to insert the device. The fiber stitch wheel is rolled in reverse until a click is heard. The wheel is then advanced forward until another click is heard. Device is gently withdrawn and the first implant is in place. A horizontal mattress is created by spreading the implants by about four to five millimeters. The tip is then reintroduced with a gentle pronation and supination moment and the wheel is reversed until a click is heard and then advanced again in the forward direction. The implant is secured by gently tugging on all sutures. The horizontal suture is secured against the graft by placing the fingers in the loop outside of the shoulder and gently tensioning it into place. The pull suture is then tensioned to secure the self-locking knot and secure the implant in place. The tensioner cutter is loaded and definitive fixation and tension is achieved by advancing the cutter over the suture to further secure the knot in place. A second fiber stitch RC is then utilized along the posterior medial aspect of the graft. The device is withdrawn and the second implant is placed. The inserter is gently removed. The suture complex is gently tensioned to set the implants. The horizontal suture is secured by placing a finger in the loop outside the shoulder and gentle tension is applied. The pull suture is then used to further secure the self-locking mechanism. Finally, the tension cutter is advanced over the top of the knot to further tension the implant and cut the suture. Following medial repair, the medial holding sutures are removed. The lateral sutures are uncoupled from the graft inserter. The graft inserter is closed and removed from the passport cannula. At this point, 2.9 millimeter suture tape links are exiting the passport cannula. The anterolateral suture can be retrieved through the anterolateral portal. A 3.5 millimeter self-punching push lock will be placed adjacent to the anterolateral swivel lock anchor 
that was utilized during the transosseous equivalent repair. The 3.5 millimeter push lock anchor has a self-punching peak tip. This affords the ability to minimize the amount of soft tissue dissection anterior or posterior laterally. The anchor is introduced while keeping tension on the suture and positioning it adjacent to the previous swivel lock anchor along the anterolateral edge of the footprint. The anchor is gently impacted into position. The inserter is unscrewed, detaching itself from the implant. A side cutter is used to cut the suture. The second 3.5 millimeter self-punching push lock anchor with a peak tip is utilized for the posterior lateral suture. The graft is properly tensioned over the top of the rotator cuff.